In today's video, guys, I wanna to talk to you about the Tesla Model 3 and the fact that it has no spare tire. But really, this also applies to other vehicles um, that don't come with a spare tire as well. So really, other Teslas or a lot of the new Kias um, and Hyundais and different vehicles that just aren't supplied with a spare tire. This video is about giving you a fighting chance to get back on the road and no longer be stranded. Granted, you can wait for roadside assistance, but who knows when they're coming. Um, and to have your car towed, I mean, what a, what a major hassle, you know? Basically, it's gonna ruin whatever you are planning to do. So I wanna give you guys another option, okay? And that is to carry in your car a really cheap tire inflator. This is a uh, probably a nine dollar slime tire inflator, and a uh, <clears throat> a three dollar stick gauge tire gauge. Um, these handles came out of a slime kit that cost like five dollars, but these are safety seals, um, and these plugs um, by Safety Seal are really excellent. Um, uh, pair of pliers, small pair of pliers, and like a little cutting knife there. So let's say the most common scenario for a flat tire is either having a nail or a screw or a piece of metal in your tire. So to give yourself a fighting chance, okay? What you would do in, in, in my thinking, you pull over to the side of the road, okay? You drive until the obstruction is clearly visible, okay? So, you know, just move the car until it's clearly visible and you can see what it is. Then, you know, the tire's gonna be flat at this point. But what you're gonna do is you're going to use your X-Acto to cut away any rubber you need to around the obstruction, like the nail. Let's say it's a nail, that's the most common. So we're gonna cut around any rubber we're gonna get our pliers and we're gonna yank out that nail or that screw or that piece of metal, okay? And the tire's already flat. So, so tire's not gonna do a whole lot other than remain flat. After that, you're gonna get your, your reamer. So these kits come with a reamer and you're gonna get in there and you're gonna ream out the hole, okay? And the idea is you go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth and little shards of metal and rubber are gonna come out and you're gonna make a nice even hole, okay? And then you insert your safety seals. Um, I like safety seals. Um, a lot of people have had really good um, experience with these. I've had great experience with these. I've, I've never had a tire uh, go flat after putting one of these plugs in, but, um, but anyway, you're gonna take your safety seal, you're gonna thread it onto onto this thing that looks like a plunger, and you're gonna plunge it in, okay, and pull it out, and that will keep the plug inside the hole. Then you just hook up your inflator. You let it run for, you know, until the tire comes up, and check it for air. And you just keep inflating until you get to the recommended PSI. Now, is this system 100% gonna work for you? You know, maybe not, but at least in this system, with your Tesla or your Kia, you're giving yourself a fighting chance to get back on the road in maybe 30 minutes, right? Instead of waiting for roadside assistance, that may take two hours while you're just kind of stranded, and then you're gonna hear, oh, by the way, um, you know, we don't have a tire available for you, so we're going to have to put your car on a flatbed. And I mean, you can just see that the problem's mounting exponentially. You know, how are you going to get home? Where are you going to stay? I mean, it, it could just be a nightmare for you. So this system, inexpensive, right? Inexpensive and gives you a fighting chance. So I want to, I want to offer this to you guys as a way to do this. Now, if you're doing it on a front tire, I did it on the rear tire here just to make it more difficult. But on a front tire, you can actually turn the tire towards you, you know, rotate the steering wheel and turn the tire towards you and it's much easier to work on the, on the tire. 
The one other thing I want to add is that after you have the plug in, you can take your X-Acto knife or your box cutter and you can just cut away the plug until it's flush with the tire, okay? And then, of course, once you air it up, you know, you can watch it and test it and just get a reading, you know, just get a reading every, uh, you know, every couple of minutes and see if it's holding air. If it's holding air, you know, you're probably okay to get back on the road and, um, and you're no longer stranded. From there, you have options. You know, if you, if you want to just leave the plug in, you, I know people that do that. I actually do that too. Safety seals are so awesome that if you look at the reviews on Amazon, you'd be amazed at the people that use this exclusively for patching tires or plugging tires. And, um, and they have great results with them. Um, they usually last the life of the tire. Look at the Amazon reviews. They're amazing. Let's just put it that way. I'll leave it at that. But you have the options. In other words, once you get, once you reach your destination, once you get your business done, then you can say, okay, well, I'm not comfortable just having a plug here. I want to get a whole new tire. Totally up to you. Okay. You want to get a whole new tire. You want to have it removed, patched from the inside, plugged from the outside. However you want to do it is fine. The point of my video is I want to give all of you a fighting chance to get back on the road in 30 minutes or so. And this system does exactly that. It gives you a fighting chance. You're not, you're not just a stranded victim um, wondering what you're gonna do. So anyway, guys, I just wanted to share that with you. And if you like these videos, feel free to like and subscribe. And I look forward to talking to you on the next video.